Okay, so today I have probably the coolest product I have ever tested on this channel, and that is the Chasing Gladius Mini Underwater Drone. Pretty amazing stuff. Now, before I get into this video, I do have to mention that the company Chasing did send me this, uh, this product here for free as a review copy. I'm not being paid to make this review. This is my honest opinion. Uh, so it's not a paid promotion. It's quite literally, here's our product, try it out, give it a review and see what you think. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. In fact, I'm gonna make two videos about this product, quite simply because it's such a, it's such a substantial product. I really don't think I can nail it perfectly and tell you everything it can do and give you a comprehensive review just in one video. So for this video, I'm gonna quite literally unbox it. I'm gonna show you some footage uh, recorded from on the Gladius Mini the footage that the company itself have recorded and then on the second video I'm actually going to go out I'm going to find a clear water lake and really you know do an awesome proper in-depth review video trying every single feature and so forth so without further ado let's crack open this baby because I'm super excited so as you can see from the box it's a big big box that's because it's a grand big product now when I say big it's not actually huge you can see from the image itself it's not a massive thing, but it definitely is quite a beast and it has to be because this thing can dive, I think, 120 meters underwater. So it's got to, you know, withstand such high pressure as well. Really cool. So let's crack it open. Right. Box is really nice, by the way, really nicely packaged. This is more of a premium product, but it's a, really the only kind of product of its kind. And this company, when it comes to underwater drones, chasing, they are the ones, they are the guys, you know, <laughs> they're the real deal. So what do you get? You get an instruction booklet and manual. This is gonna be very important. It's gonna be actually very useful and a bunch of little washers and extra parts should you need to. So that's always cool. You get a nice, sort of microfiber cloth with their logo etched inside. Really nice quality. You can see that this is a quality product. So really nice microfiber cloth. I'm assuming that's to dry and clean the drone. What else? So this should be here, this popped out. But this is, so before I get into that, let me, uh, there's so much to tackle here. All right, so you get the remote control, that's self-explanatory, really nice. I'm gonna just take out all the parts. You get a little, what do you call it, a little clamp to put your phone in. You get uh, another sort of, uh, I think that attaches to the remote control and then you can attach the clamp for your phone onto that. You get a little weight. Now it's obviously important whether you're going to fresh water or seawater. Seawater obviously containing salt is gonna uh, be, the drone is gonna float more, you know, so you need an extra weight to, you know, for the buoyancy to cancel out basically. So that's the seawater weight. You get a mini USB, this is, yep, a mini USB cable for charging either the remote or one of the things. Power brick and the adapter as well. Uh, this thing, now this is, this is basically like a router. You know, it, it, because you're going underwater, you don't want to lose connection with your drone. That would be quite catastrophic. So this is basically like a router that connects to the drone via this long cable here. And that way, should you ever lose it, you can, in theory, just tug on the cable and bring it back. But more importantly, it gives you a really strong connection at all times so you don't actually lose contact with the drone. So that's very important. So that's the big cable there. That's the router. And finally, under here, hoo, 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 this is the drone itself. Let me put all this to the side. I really need a bigger table for this review. <laughs> Look at that. Let me just pull it out of its packaging. There we go. Oh. All right, well, let's remove the box out of the way. Okay, so this is the drone itself. Now, as you can see, it's got a bit of dirt on it. That's because, I'll be honest, I have already opened it and I have already tried it out. Um, just so I can get, you know, a really good, I, I didn't basically want to wing this video. I actually wanted to understand the product properly, really know how to set it up, and therefore, you know, I can give you a proper comprehensive review. 
So it has actually already been used by myself, so I probably should have given it a good wipe, but I've packaged it up exactly how it came to give you an idea of how the boxing actually is. So here's the drone itself. As you can see, it has one, two, three, four, five propellers. Three to bring it up and down, and two for it to go forward and back. And it can also tilt, so it's got different axes. So you can obviously, when you put it in water, you can you know go down, submerge, and you can go up as well. You can go backwards, and, I mean, so forwards and backwards, but you can also tilt and rotate like this and you know obviously rotate 360 but also tilt as well so it really gives you every you know possible way of how you want to film it pretty much has it it's not it's not one of those things where you know you have to really try and point perfectly just in one direction and hope you capture what you want no you know if something if whatever you're filming is in over there you can but if it's not within eye level of the camera because the camera obviously is fixed it's not a gimbal uh, you can you know tilt how you want rotate do all that and basically capture whatever you want nice and steady so that's the drone really nice construction i gotta tell you the construction is excellent really top-notch construction i mean it's just made so well got a really nice camera up front this is actually a camera that can shoot in 4k uh, I'll, I'll go into the specs of the actual camera a little bit later in this video and two very bright LED lights to illuminate whatever you're trying to record. So I think I'm going to set it up here. I'm literally going to set it up, uh, hook it up with my phone and basically show you how it works. So to set it up, first things first, let's actually sort out the remote. So it's very simple how to do. This attaches to the back of this, so there's a little screw. So as you can see, it's a little screw there, and you just quite literally, nice and tight. So this is the arm, and you can tighten that as well with the little screw on the side here. Somewhat tighten it so it doesn't move. And then you attach the ball really simple you know that can move about how you want as well put the phone in that's the controller set up let's move all the charging cables out of the way because it is pre-charged already that's pretty much all the setup almost already done so I'm gonna move away the microfiber cloth now it's not wireless and that might sound bad you know some people say oh well drones are wireless well it's actually a very good thing that it has this cable reel because think about it for a second you're putting this in this connects up to the remote control via uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connection now the problem is it's trying to stream video live and also control the actual drone itself the Gladius Mini itself if you ever lose connection, what are you going to do? Are you going to dive down meters, you know, 10, 20 meters down into the lake or wherever you're filming and retrieve the drone? Probably not. I mean, the fact of the matter is it'll be gone for good. So how do you prevent losing this drone for good? Because underwater, radio waves and things like that, they are going to suffer, deteriorate massively. It's not like a drone where it's up in the sky, where it's got a nice clear view, you know, a nice direct shot, nothing in the way other than air. Um, you know you're not going to lose connection but but with this you're, you're definitely going to lose connection so in order to avoid that you've got this really rugged cable now this cable is absolutely fantastically made uh, you can quite literally retrieve the drone by pulling on this cable I don't think that's recommended but obviously you know only do that if you must I wouldn't recommend doing that but in in theory you can do that so essentially one side of the cable plugs into the Gladius Mini so we're gonna just plug that in and it screws in nice and tight and just to demonstrate you can lift it with the cable you know it, you can actually do it again I wouldn't recommend it but worst things but worst things worst that's how you can retrieve it should anything terrible ever happen but the likelihood is because it's actually 
linked up with a cable to the router and all the router, the router stays in on land, doesn't go in water, only the Gladius Mini goes in water. The other side of this cable plugs into the router here. This stays within water and essentially all it needs to communicate is just with these two and therefore you never lose connection. You always have a top quality connection and a really good video, uh, live video feed as well of what you're seeing. So it works very well. And this cable is, I don't know the exact spec, I'll probably write the spec somewhere here, but it's very, very long. Um, so don't worry about that. Router's connected, Gladius Mini is connected. Now all we need is my phone. So it works with Android and iOS, as you should expect. Very simple, if you've ever uh, flown or ever used a DJI drone, for example, you'd be very familiar with this setup. It's very, it's very intuitive, sorry, the setup. Really simple, and once you've set it up, it's, you know, you're out in the water pretty quick. So essentially, you download their app. So what we want to do is first switch all this stuff on. Now, you want to switch on Bluetooth and uh, Wi-Fi on your mobile device. So I'm going to go ahead and switch, off, switch on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. We're gonna now switch on the router. So switch it on there and switch on the remote control. Okay, so I've hooked it up via Bluetooth. So we you gotta do switch on your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi. It's already said select one controller to connect via Bluetooth. Say, yep, I selected, it's found it, connected up, and now we're completely hooked up. So let me pop that in there. Straight away, the Gladius Mini, as you can see, the Gladius Mini is right now switched on. So I can see everything that I want. So the Gladius Mini does take mini, sorry, micro SD cards and you put them into the router here on the side. So as you got, you got HDMI out as well here. You got all the settings for the camera as well. Uh, you can change the ISO, change the white balance, the red, green, and blue, the color tone, the contrast, you can change uh, the sharpen, mirror image, you can flip it, image optimization, denoise, saturation, you've got a lot of different things for the camera. Video wise, you can shoot 1080p or 4K, or 4K at 30 frames, 60 frames, or 120 frames with 1080p. And if you switch to 4K, it can do 30 frames a second. So you can shoot up to 120 frames per second, 1080p. Change the bitrate. DV mode and a few other little bits. Camera wise as well, you can change the shutter speed, uh, the, the format, JPEG and so forth. You could do JPEG, DNG, JPEG and DNG. Uh, so yeah, bunch of different camera settings, all what you should expect. What else can you do? So let me just switch to the camera mode. So you can do camera settings. We're gonna do a shutter speed, JPEG, take a few pictures. There we go. What else can we do? So you can switch to video, so I can right now record some video. And you know, I can also control the LED lights here on the remote. <laughs> How cool is that? So you can dim them, make them bright and so forth. Really cool stuff. Uh, what else can you do? So here you've got like a 3D image on the side here. You've got a 3D image of actually the positioning of the Gladius Mini. So as you move it about, tilt it. And obviously in order to start, well, actually powering this up, we could power it up right now. All you've got to do is click unlock. And it's now starting to Brings off a lot of wind. We can lock it again. But as you can see, it's obviously pointless. It's not in water right now, so it's not gonna go anywhere, but you get the idea. So basically you got everything you need, uh, you know, within within the app. It's, it's all pretty much self-explanatory. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now uh, some, some video taken by chasing themselves with a Gladius Mini uh, so you can actually see some of the footage it can record.
So as you can see, the footage is absolutely fantastic, really top-notch quality. Um, this thing is, is powerful. I mean, it's, it's really pretty good. This video, I'm gonna end it here just because, well, it was more of an unboxing, showing you what's in the box and showing you a rough preview of the Gladius Mini. Uh, but, but I am gonna be taking it out in the next video where I'm gonna do a really in-depth review and I'm actually gonna take it out into water and show you guys how fast it, it, it is. I mean, this thing is lightning quick. When you put it in water and you go, it just, it, it's, it's extraordinary, guys. It's really fantastic. I'm, I'm absolutely in love with this. <laughs> with this uh, Gladius Mini, especially if I'm ever gonna go on holiday and I've got nice tropical water, I'm definitely taking this with me because this is gonna give you a type of footage you can't capture really elsewhere. I mean, sure, you can get, you know, waterproof cases for your phone or cameras or GoPros or whatever, but you can't go really deep down. You know, this can, this can go 120 meters, I believe, 120 meters. That is extraordinary, 120 meters. The pressure alone, this thing is built like a, I don't know how well it's built because this is insane to, to, to withstand that kind of pressure. So really fantastic. So that's going to be in the next video. I hope you guys will join me. Once again, I want to thank actually Chasing the company itself for sending me this Gladius Mini. I am ecstatic to actually be reviewing one of these. Um, I never thought I'd be so lucky. But once again, thank you Chasing for that. Next video is gonna be fantastic. I am going to really show you what this baby can do. So stay tuned for it, it's coming out very soon. Also, I'll leave links in the description to the Gladius Mini where you can pick one up, where you can purchase one if you're, if you're already sold. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do stick around, do hit that subscribe button and especially hit that bell icon so you never miss any of my new uploads. I've got a lot more stuff to show you guys and I can't wait to show you a proper review of the Gladius Mini. I really can't wait. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, feed your mind. <laughs>